Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and today I am so excited. It is the first day of the new catalog year. It is the beginning of the 2013-2014 Stampin' Up! catalog, and I finally get to show you stuff from it. And so today I'm going to show you a card I made. It is my June customer thank you card with the Wildflower Meadow stamp set and the coordinating Wildflower embossing folder and using one of the new colors that are oh, the in colors so so yummy I just want to eat them up pistachio pudding gorgeous baked brown sugar oh this is so pretty <laughs> uh, strawberry slush what a pretty pretty pink and coastal cabana mm, gotta love that and crisp cantaloupe and this is the one I'm going to be using today with, for my card did I mention that I'm excited? Oh my goodness, you should see my list. But you know what? That's just so I can make things and show you. <laughs> so, okay. So what I did, I already went ahead and embossed in the Sizzix Big Shop this piece, but I want to show you. I have a tip for what I'm doing with the stamp. Okay, so let's put this aside. And I purchased uh, the Wildflower Metal in the clear mount. So I have it on the big clear mount block. And what size is this bad boy? It's an F. So on this big F clear mount block. Okay, and so I told you I was using the Chris Cantaloupe. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I keep calling these the new firm foam pads, but they've been out a year now. And so it's hard to keep calling them new. But boy, are they wonderful for inking up these big background stamps. Because before, in order to avoid getting lines on them, we need to use the brayer. We don't need to do that anymore. We get this great coverage. But I do have a tip for the brayer for you. You know, these pads are new, they're stiff. So you have to work a little bit so they're easier to open and close, but eventually they will get there. <laughs> the little side note. Okay, so what I decided to do for my card was I wanted to have the center of this. I inked the whole thing, so that's okay. But I wanted just the center. So I could try to teeter over top of it and hope that I hit it con pretty consistently when I'm making all these thank you cards. Or I can lay it uh, rubber side up, already inked, and lay my cardstock just where I want it. And this way I can see that I'm in the center. And then I can try to get pretty even with those polka dots. And at this point, I could just push down and touch it. Or, if you don't want to get inky, because it would be really hard to get ink just in the area, put a piece of paper over it, and you can do that. Or, this is where your brayer comes in, you can just rub it. Roll the brayer right over there, and get a really nice inked image. So... And this will help you from getting all inky. How about that for a tip? I have to show you my finished card. So here we are. Once the ink dries, it comes down. Remember, it looks pretty dark now. It's really coordinating beautifully with the cardstock. And so what my plan was, because like I said, I didn't want to try to be perfect that many times, that this is a continuation of the embossing. And so that's why I was trying to get in the center and then layer it in the center. And didn't that turn out lovely? Uh, this is has Stampin' Dimensionals on. So if it's not perfect, that's okay. It just gives you that illusion. It reminds me of the paintings that you get where they take the picture and it goes into the matting. You have that little bit of separation. And so that's what that's like. Isn't that just stinking pretty? And oh my goodness, this is just so pretty. It's so hard to choose what color to do it in. Oh, pistachio pudding gorgeous. I'm loving this baked brown sugar. Of course, you know, layered on uh, baked brown sugar wouldn't be something. It was so hard to pick, but this was just, this is what I went for. But I can't wait to show you, too, my little something, something inside. This just, because I thought, what am I going to do? The Stampin' Right markers aren't out yet. How can I color just a flower and do my little something, something? And so, how stinking cute is this? And I did the same thing with the envelope. <laughs> I'm just feeling oh so clever. Okay, so let me show you what I did. I inked up my stamp, and then you have to think what side. So just ink it up, and you don't need to be perfect, because all we're going to do is catch one side of it. And so this you could do up, you know, the upside down thing, but um, I just went ahead and did this because we have that nice flat. You know, it stops right there. 
So then we have that. How pretty is that? So my little something something inside and on my envelope. So here we go. Uh, so excited. Ordering starts today at noon mountain time. Oh, <laughs> it's hard to wait. And, uh, and, and so from the 2012, 2000, oh no, 2013, 2014 stamp up catalog, a whole new year. And then when you do place your order with me in June, this is the card you will get in your mailbox. It's just so lovely. And, uh, and something you could easily do. And I love that. Okay, so just go to my online store. You can't hardly stand it. I know. Uh, www.shopwithshelly.com and place your order for all these new Stampin' Up! goodies that we've been waiting for. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.